Now these quick hitches that we sell here at Goodworks Tractors, the Spicos, these red ones here, they're gonna be good for everything from a big 40, 66R, about as big of a compact tractor as you can get, all the way down to a little subcompact like this 1025R. The great thing about these Spico quick hitches is that they don't use bushings, okay? So this little slot here is designed to be a, a direct fit with your category one, your seven eighths pin that goes right in here. A lot of the other quick hitches out there require you to stack on a category three bushing. There's no real point of that besides spending more money. Now we can ship these all over the country to you. Now let's get to that tip of the week. This was a real scenario that happened with a customer recently that just purchased a quick hitch and went to hook up to their Frontier Rototiller. It wasn't matching up. So this isn't going to take care of every problem that's out there, but this is going to be a common thing found on things like rototillers. Could be a sweep all like what we have right here. I want to show you what it is. So if you go ahead and you're backing up your tractor with the quick hitch to mate up, Okay, with the pins. You got two lower pins for your three point, then you got the top middle. So if your alignment with your bolt pins right here are not equal to the quick hitch spacing, take a look and see if this lower bracket is welded or bolted on. In this case here, you can see it's gonna be bolted on. And what that allows you to do is loosen up the bolts, slide this thing in or out. Same thing with the other side. You still wanna maintain an equal amount of spacing on both sides of the center pin. Back up accordingly, get your center line for your quick hitch here, and then just loosen it up. See where you gotta be, center it, and then you can go ahead and tighten these bolts back down. Really quick while we're bolting this lower link on, let me tell you all about this sweep all here. This is a lawn sweeper on steroids, okay? You're gonna see it's PTO driven. It's gonna have an electric dump from the seat, uh, bagger that's on here, foam filled tires, quick hitch compatible. It comes in 48 or 60 inch wide increments there. We're gonna have a lot more information coming out about this going over a product overview as well as a lot of field test videos of this thing. It picks up walnuts, pine cones, leaves, aeration plugs, the list just goes on and on. Nice, good call. Well, hopefully you found this helpful. We got to finish setting up this sweep all sweepster here and get it ready to go, but it's not gonna solve every single compatibility issue there with a the quick hitch, but it's something to take a look at. Again, this customer called in, they weren't sure what was going on there. The Frontier was supposed to be quick hitch compatible. The quick hitch is built to a standard specification. There's no variation there besides just a, a fraction of an inch, which isn't going to matter. So take a look, see if you have adjustable lower links on there that could solve the problem you're having. If you like what you see here, hit that like button and subscribe as well. That would really help me out. Read through that description below. There's gonna be all sorts of helpful links for where you can buy this quick hitch, the sweep ball all sorts of cool stuff for tractor owners now we got to finish putting this thing together here before the sun goes down until next time stay safe we'll see you soon is it on yeah i didn't hear an action Action! Hey, we're shooting the same view the whole, the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> well, the right way to do it is to... Because it could be as simple as simply sliding your pin in or out, left or right. Are you worried about saying sliding? Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Those, those are good catches. <laughs> I don't know what's going on.